Hey guys, Guillaume here. Today we are going to talk about how I did my GoPro pictures. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. I would first like to thank you for all your kind feedback on my what gear do I use video and that's very motivating and it's very cool to see our community growing. In this video I'll give you a few tips and tricks on how to edit your GoPro pictures into Adobe Lightroom. I'll be using my GoPro banger preset that I just created and that I've been using over the past year for all my adventures and travels. I've included the one that were applied to a lot of uh, GoPro Worlds as well over the past 12 months and something very cool it's a first for me I'll be including both Lightroom presets for desktop but as well for mobile so stay tuned in until the end of the video when I'm going to to go through the process because it's a bit different I've tested these GoPro presets in many different conditions with different lighting different environment while skydiving sometimes free diving so being in the water or sometimes being in a dark moody kind of a rainy day and some bright days so that they all work in some different conditions. Now bear in mind that these are presets so they don't work always straight when you apply them and they will maybe require a few adjustments on for example the exposure, the contrast and the saturation. So I will not only show you how to apply the presets on to your picture i will also show you how to adjust the settings so that you can achieve the look you want all right so right now we are on the gopro app first of all i'm going to select picture mode and i'm going to show you my settings here you want to select the maximum quality on this one it's 12 megapixel super photo i'm not using that mod much um, especially because I want to be in charge and in control of all the settings and Superphoto is blending a few pictures together. It works great if you don't want to have to edit anything. Here for this example, I'm not using it. Now very important, the raw setting is green, it's activated. I mean, if you want to have as much control of your use settings, you want to shoot raw. You want Protein on Shutter, Auto, EV, Depending on your lighting, you may want to bring the EV a bit lower uh, if you don't want to clip those highlights. Now with the raw picture mode, you should be alright in most cases. Uh, ISO min at 100, ISO maximum. I try to not go over 400, eventually 800 if I really need to. but. Um, bear in mind this is a GoPro and it's going to be really grainy if you go above those values. So let's keep it down at 400. Now the white balance, most of the time I keep it at auto. Now it doesn't matter because we are shooting raw and you can change this setting afterwards. Um, sharpness, very important, low. I found out that I was struggling a lot more to bring the colors back, especially for underwater shots if I was shooting flat. So I decided to shoot most of the time GoPro color unless I really need to shoot flat because I know that I'm going to get good lighting condition. Those are my GoPro settings and they give me the best results. Let's assume we transfer the content onto our hard drives, onto the computer and let's jump into Lightroom. So now we are in Lightroom, you should in Lightroom Classic CC, this is what you should see. Right here I've installed my my GoPro bangers um, presets. Now if you don't have them installed already, I'm going to show you very quickly. I mean you need to download the file from the website then click here on the small plus and click on import presets and here I mean you go and find the preset and click on import um, obviously I already imported them so I'm not going to do that now here I have the list of all 15 presets uh, from the GoPro Bali to GoPro with Sundays here. I have selected five pictures with different lighting conditions. So we have this picture uh, taken last year in Bali. We have this picture of Emma and my uh, feet in front of Copy P. That's Copy P. I you see in the background. Uh, this one is an underwater shot of Emma and I free diving in Kotao. And the next one is a a picture of me skydiving um, so that one is interesting still I was telling you that you should have raw uh, selected for your picture any GoPro picture taken with a raw format will have an extension called GPR you can see that here 
Now this picture here was not a raw picture for the simple reason that I was shooting um, a time lapse. My friend was shooting in time lapse mode, which was taking a picture um, every 0.5 seconds and this mode doesn't allow you to take raw pictures because the processor of the GoPro is not powerful enough. I mean, I'm going to show you that you don't need to have a raw picture to be able to color grade and to have those presets working. And lastly, I have here a GoPro Fusion. Anyway, so very, very different pictures are in the sky or underwater. Now let's start with the first one here. So I just need to click on the GoPro Bali preset to already have a look. Now, as you can see, it's really dark. So what I want to show you is that when you're going to apply the presets on your picture, you're going to find the same kind of result. Either it will be too dark or too saturated or too bright or not contrasting enough. So now this is what we are going to have a look into. Um, so this picture of Bali and this waterfall, it was very dark. It was quite a rainy day. And um, what I would do in this one, so apply the, the Bali presets, uh, which is already a very dark preset. and my presets are not coming with any, any exposure or contrast setting, so you can adjust that. Here you can see with the, the, the histogram that most of our colors, most of, of our picture is in, like is located in the shadows. So we want to bring this, um, some details back into the mid-tones maybe to have a bit more brightness. So for that I'm going to bring up the exposure just a bit to have something a bit more pleasing a bit less dark i mean what i like to do is always go the, like quite far to see how far you can push this picture is a gopro raw gpr so you can push the settings quite far and uh, and see what it looks like so let's see a bit of exposure now the temperature um let's see if i bring it bluer it's going to give it a more cold look and if i bring it push it to the yellow it's going to give it a warm warm feel. So here I think I'm pretty happy. I really like the yellow and the green and here that blue dark tones um, at the bottom of the picture. For Instagram as a portrait picture you want to export that one as a 4x5. To do so you either click on this small icon here or click press R on your keyboard and here you can resize the, the picture to the format for Instagram so which is 4x5 here. Now something uh, we could do is put um, myself here on one of the third to create a more um, a better composition for, for the picture. I think here we're not far, maybe a bit more. Yes. Um, and I'm going to press R again to come back. So here is our after and if I press backslash I can see the before. Let's go on to the next one. For example, that one, very bright day, no cloud, blue sky, very blue water, but it's still quite dark. So um, it's a raw picture and I'm going to apply from, for example, I can choose, uh, it's, I would choose the copy P for this one because um, this was created for that picture at, uh, at first. Um, I'm going to click on it, the settings are set. Now the first thing I'm going to do is going to reframe and change the composition of that picture. So by pressing R, as I said before, making sure the horizon. Here's the before and after. Now let's go underwater and I'm going to show you another trick. So for that one, for all the presets that are working better underwater, I name them with the underwater uh, name. Let's select one underwater preset. Oh, I like this one. I really like the skin tones. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is bring back a bit of exposure. Here, as you can see, like the picture is quite grainy and um, there is a trick to remove that grain. Uh, if you scroll all the way down to the effect panel, here you will find grain and you can move the slider and put it back. Now, if it's not, still not enough for, for you, I would go back up to the detail section where there is already some sharpening applied. The reason why I apply some sharpening for underwater is because some pictures tend to be soft. All right, next, let's jump onto some skydiving picture. So my first thing I will do before adding any preset, before doing any changes is to reframe it for Instagram. So press R, press X um, on your keyboard. 
I'm going to make sure I'm in the middle. I'm going to make sure the horizon is straight. You can see with the tail the plane was straight. And I think that's a bit too much. Now you can use any of those GoPro space presets and they should all work pretty well. I mean, I'm very proud of those presets. Um, the space number one was actually created for that picture, that exact picture, and here we go. Now let's bring down slightly the luminance. The highlights, I've clipped all my clouds, so I'm going to bring them down. Now let me show you something else. If I come back to this picture, this picture is really nice and uh, I think I can uh, still achieve a better result. Um, first of all, the water here is very dark and I want to make it pop and have it, uh, have it a bit more blue. So the best option for this is to, 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 to grab the paintbrush here and um, to reset the settings and we are going to change the temperature of the water. I'm going to paint um, the water right there very roughly and I'm going to press O to reveal my mask alright let's paint very roughly the water make sure we are not painting the rocks here a bit too and now we are going to change the exposure Let's press O first and let's change, change the temperature. See right there how the water is now a lot more bluer. Let's bring maybe some green into it and bring up the exposure. That's before and after. So we have a very, very blue water here. And now last one, the GoPro Fusion picture. Presets I've used on this picture is called GoPro with Sanders and I've noted here it's a fusion for flat profile. Now I'm going to reframe it for Instagram, so 4x5 here. Let's make sure we can see the whole boat. Now this color is a bit flat and requires a bit more saturation. And as I thought, I mean, instead of just painting my body and make sure I look not as pale as it is, I can use the HSL tool and for that I will go into the HSL panel, click on saturation, click on this small dot here and go directly onto my skin and I'm going to bring the saturation up and see how I'm going to bring some colors into my skin. Another tip I could give you is as you can see the sky is nice and blue but I want to give it a bit more depth and for, for that I'm, I'm using lens flare and I'm using lens flare a lot into my pictures. So you want to select the radial feature here, it's a small circle at the top and we are going to drag a circle. As you can see the shadow here from the shadows here, the sun comes from the left side so I'm going to move this radial filter here and we are going to bring up the exposure just enough. Now a trick I use is to bring down the DAs. It's going to give that A's the sun would have on the picture. Um, now I like to push my color grading quite a lot on my picture. I know not everyone like this. so. Once again, it's all about your personal preferences. I'm just giving you tips and tricks on how I edit my picture. I know I like to push my grading quite a lot and not everyone like that. I like to have the blues very blue, the whites very white. This video is all about giving you tips and tricks and you can pick what you want and choose to put the red here, here the gradient filter somewhere else. I mean, this is totally up to your creativity. Now let's jump into Lightroom for mobile and I'm going to go through the whole process with you. So now if you have an iPhone like me, you, are, you need to open the mobile preset DNG folder and select all the pictures. Um, those are DNG uh, digital negative uh, files in the picture, all the 15 of them, and you are going to airdrop them to your iPhone. For an Android, I'm not too sure how to do that. I'm pretty sure it's easier than iPhone because iPhone and Apple makes everything more uh, 
uh, tricky, but I'm pretty sure you can just transfer them or put them on Dropbox or Google Drive. Once you have transferred the files to your phone, go into Lightroom and go into the library, which is the first tab here at the top left. You can access that library. And we are going to create an album by pressing create an album and I'm going to create a click on OK. So now you've got you've created an album. And now we are going to import into this album our DNG we just transferred to our phone. By that you have to click on the small plus icon at the bottom and we want to look them up from the camera roll. Here they are, we've got all of them here. So select them all, 15. Once you've selected them, you click on add the 15 photos and they should appear into the album. Now that you have them, you have a few options. I'm going to show you the long-term option. I want to create a preset. The preset is integrated into that picture. So all you have to do is click the three dots at the top and click on create preset. So that preset is called South of Australia. And we are going to create a new preset group. Tick the box at the top. Now you're going to do that for each one of the 15 presets. I know this is a long process, but this works, trust me. So you want to do that for all of them. And here we are, finished. Now I created an album with a few raw GoPro pictures here, just under the GoPro presets folder in the albums. I'm going to open one and let's say, let's try with this Fusion GoPro Fusion picture. To add any preset, you just need to scroll to the end of that bottom bar and click on preset. Here, if you don't see the preset showing up first, click on the small color and the arrow here on the left. And at the bottom here, you should see the GoPro presets. I must have forgotten one. We have 14, it should be 15, but this is what we will have. I'm clicking on this and here they are. So let's say I want to apply the Brisbane preset on this one and here you go. And for example, that one is a bit too bright and a bit too saturated. So I'm going to remove a bit of vibrance and go into the light and bring down the exposure just a little bit. And save to camera roll, maximum available, this is what I do. And you'll find the picture into your camera roll. And that's it, that's how I edit my pictures into Lightroom uh, for mobile or Lightroom for desktop. Now those presets are available on my website. You don't need to have a GoPro to use them. They can work for most DSLR. I sometimes apply them to my Sony A7R 3 Raw pictures or JPEG, iPhone pictures, everything can work. You have any questions about those presets, please leave your question on uh, my Instagram, on social media, on YouTube, and I'll make sure to answer those. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I see you very soon. See ya! Go back to work. <laughs>